In this project, we will simulate the combustion process of diesel fuel inside a combustion chamber of a gas turbine system. The function of combustion chamber is such that the airflow enters the chamber from the space around the chamber and then passes through a diffuser duct with blades, becoming distributed and enters the spatial combustion space in order to better mix with the fuel. On the other hand, the fuel flow is injected into the space inside the chamber through a nozzle and is mixed with the gas flow. As a result, the combustion process takes place. The fuel used in this process is diesel, which reacts with airflow. Airflow enters the combustion chamber at the velocity of 3 m per second and a temperature of 300 K, and diesel is sprayed into the interior of the chamber at velocity of 4 m per second and temperature of 300 K. The aim of the present study is to investigate the mass fraction of reactant and combustion reaction products. Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link. The present 3D model is designed using Design Modeler software. To simplify the model, only a part of the original model is drawn. The air enters the inner part of the chamber through a diffuser duct, including the blade, and the fuel inlet is through the small circular cross section inside the chamber. The meshing is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh tab is unstructured and has 3,488,057 cells. After clicking on materials button and then expanding the mixture section, you can see that different mixtures are available in that list. By right clicking on each of these mixtures and clicking on edit, a new window will appear in which you can change the properties for this mixture. And now as for the species tab, uh, you can see that the species mass fraction defined for this boundary is that the fuel mass fraction is equal to 1. Now after defining the plane, in order to extract a 2D contour, we just have to click on Contour button and then accept the third window. Again, on the low left side of the software window, in front of the location section, we first have to define and select our defined plane. After defining the plane, we just have to select our variable, which in this case, we want to see the fuel mass fraction inside our computational domain. After selecting this variable, by clicking on apply, the software will show you the 2D contours of fuel mass fraction. Now in this 2D contour, you can easily see how the fuel mass fraction has distributed inside the computational domain. You can easily see the mass fraction of fuel uh, has the highest value after just leaving the fuel nozzle and after entering the combustion zone, the fuel mass fraction decreases. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link.